So this is concentrated hydrochloric acid, and this is ammonia. And when the two things come together, then they react and they form ammonium chloride, which is this white smoke. What we're going to do is we're going to put the ammonia and the hydrochloric acid, hydrogen chloride, into this tube, and we're going to see how they move across. Right, on this side of the tube we've got concentrated hydrochloric acid and that's giving off fumes of hydrogen chloride. So the hydrogen chloride particles are going to be moving away along this tube all the way along and at some point they'll meet the particles from this side and on this side we've got ammonia. And so the ammonia particles are moving along the tube as well. So at some point in the middle these particles are going to meet. When the particles meet, they should form a white smoke because when ammonia and hydrochloric acid meet, they form ammonium chloride and that appears as a white smoke. So we're looking for some white smoke somewhere along this tube. Okay, so if I hold this dark colored book, we can see there is the smoke that's appearing. Now if we put the ruler we can see that it is about 60, 60 centimetres from the ammonia, and so about 40 centimetres from the HCl. So it's closer to the HCl than it is to the ammonia. So now we've got to explain why is this ring of ammonium chloride closer to the HCl than it is to the ammonia? The ammonia particles have had to travel further than the HCl particles.